Actually, I have been working since March this year. Okay. But I started Crowd One in January. Wow, inspiring. But I was a little slow in the beginning. I'm really looking forward to hear your testimonial. So what can I say? The stage is yours. Thank you very much, Carl. Okay, so I will actually not give exactly a testimonial. I will speak uh, about impact. And uh, I know that every one of us, we have been impacted of someone in life. Positive impact or negative impact. And also all of us have also made an impact in other people's life. And this is something that we can choose if the impact from us should be a positive impact or a negative impact. So I, I was, want to start to, to actually go back a bit to, to really look what is impact about, because it's connected to something called TFAR. And that is that the thoughts are always coming first. The thought brings our feelings. And our feelings will lead to an action or to a non-action also. We think that it always needs to be an action, but a non-action is actually also an action. And this brings the results. And if this result will be positive or negative, it's actually up to each and one of us. And that's also how we can make an impact in other people's lives. So let's start with the I. So I is about integrity. To be the same person all the time. If someone is watching you or you are with someone or when you are alone, that's the integrity. Also to get inspired. And uh, I used to say that a big enemy of us is to, uh, to compare with other people. Because when we start to compare, we always will end up as the loser. There will be faster, there will be longer, shorter people and whatever. And we also tend always to compare with people that is already done what we are now supposed to do. So instead of comparing, get inspired by these people. So that's also an I in the impact, get inspired. The M in impact is standing for motivation. And there is two types of motivation. You have the Integrity, inner motivation, motivation and you have the external motivation. And the inner motivation is the most important. That's your long term. And that's always connected to you having a why and what your why really are. That's the motivation will, that will make you do the things even when you don't feel for it. The external motivation is an event like this or you are listening to a motivational speaker, or you are, uh, money can also be external motivation, but this is short term. Because if this motivation was something that should lead everyone to success, everyone watching events should be successful. But the thing is that we forget things very fast. So you need to work on your inner motivation. That will be the long term to your success. Oh. So then we come to the A in impact. E, I, P. And P, sorry, P. P <laughs> in the impact, and that is the persistence. And the more seeds you plant, you have heard this many times from Mr. Peter Jacobson also, the more seeds you plant, the more you will harvest. And also to always, I used to tell to all the people I meet, become best friend with no's, collect no's because that will help you a lot. The other P in, uh, in uh, impact is for me, praise people to success. And that means that many people come into this business and they don't have the belief in themselves. Borrow out your belief in them until they have their own belief in themselves. And then also, of course, always praise people for the small steps also because a new person that maybe do something that is not that big for you but for that person it can be a universe so always praise people where they are now we come to the a in impact and that is attitude of course because attitude, attitude is almost everything so you can either build or break yourself motivation. or your business depending on what attitude you have. Attitude. So who are you when the storm is coming? 
Are you the one that is giving up? Or the one that is finding a way to ride the storm out? Action, of course, is also an A in impact because people want to follow. People want to follow uh, people that is uh, actually happening where something is happening, that is where people want to go. You don't want to follow a car standing still on the parking. So give people a sense of urgency. And that is also something that you will see will happen a lot for, for the impact in your team and also for yourself. The C is standing for consistently. And that is to do these small, simple things that is so simple so you tend not to do them. And this can be about writing your why down, writing your goals down. You might have your why, you might have your goals, but you don't write them down. And to use the six most important thing list when you are the boss and you are the employee. A very simple tool, but so simple so we tend not to do it. And think about an airplane. It's really, really tough for the airplane to go up, to lift. That takes the most fuel. When you are up in there, it's not the same thing. And same thing if you need to start all over again and again and again. It takes a lot of energy. And C, coach the people the right way. Many people think that coaching is about giving the answers, but coaching is about giving the right questions so the people find the answers themselves. And the last letter is the T. And of course, being teachable. Learn something new every day. And teamwork, that's of course the T for teamwork. Have your culture clear and work this together with your team. Have the ethics and also the rule that treating other people the way that you want to be treated. A very simple rule that I think that every one of us can really uh, bring forward and do also ourselves. So work with this because all of these will make a huge impact for you, but also for the team and the people around you. And that's a way how we can make a positive impact. Uh, and remember, it starts with your own thoughts. Okay. Wow, thank you, Lotta. And now we will get a word of wisdom and training mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from Crowd One Business philosopher Peter, Peter Jacobson. Jacobson. <laughs> Balbas pa rin? <laughs> Welcome everyone to a new session of some golden nuggets for your success. And the theme of this couple of minutes is attitude of gratitude. And that could be a pretty fitting theme for the seasons we're going in, the Christmas and holiday seasons, where many people have nothing and we can focus on what we actually have, what we can give, because you are here to impact the world and the people around you. And if you look at the world, there's a lot of things to do. And if we take a look at the word, Gratitude comes from grateful. And grateful is actually two words. is great and full. So when you are full of great, that means you're grateful. <laughs> and then good things will happen. This is the life challenge for you. And that is, you can have more and do more because you can become more than you already are. And you know, 
William James, the great philosopher, I use him a lot of times because he made such a great one-liners. And the one thing made an impact on me was his statement. He said, the greatest discovery of mankind 